Okay, let's take a drive to the northern western part of Namibia, just across the border between Angola and Namibia, you will find the Delta, the Okavango Delta, where you will find the Kavango people or where the Kavango cultural dances take place. <laughs> In 2020, so I don't school. Oh, you completed already? Yes. I okay, did. but who are you representing? So I'm representing Franz Timberema. Who? Franz Timberema group. Oh, okay. Yes. That's good. And, and these beautiful girls here, where are you from? Which school are you from? Hmm? Kapako. Oh, okay. So are you going to win? Yes. Oh, okay. No, you look colorful. <laughs> As you have seen, the dancers wear wigs that are made from wool with colored beads and waist in skirts fashions from reeds and ankle covered in lattos made from the wild acacia bean trees. This is to complete the dancing gear for young and old dancers. They clap their hands as they sing the traditional songs though the modernization has influenced their traditions they still sing the songs in the same way as their ancestors who composed the songs they carry different symbolic items such as baskets traditional brooms and wooden guns as they shake their waist and shoulders as they sing, positioning themselves in linear, circular, and columns. Some of the dancing styles are very symbolic in these traditions or in this society since this represent a certain type of way of living among the Okavango people who live along the Okavango Delta. So in any way or any type of dances or movement, they have a representation on what about they are dancing about. As you can see here, this is like a time of offerings where the maybe the women they will offer offerings to their gods during player time or everything like that or maybe during the uh, planting or sewing sessions or period So there is a very famous traditional dance known as Ukambe, a historic dance performed by women welcoming their husbands upon returning from the hunting grounds. The song are accompanied by drums mostly played by boys or men. The waist dance imitates how the horse moves. The man with the hunt will ride on the horses. This is amazing and this shows how they are able to relate with one another women and men in their traditions although the modernization has really influenced 
their way of dancing they still keep touch to what is all to each and everyone's responsibility in the society and they show their position on what one does in the society it's amazing so guys i will let you watch the video up to the last point please leave a like a comment or share and there will be a part one this is a part one there is a be a part two and part three please stay tuned enjoy the video and learn more about african culture and african dances and african beliefs because they have so much to offer stay tuned i love you all guys watch the video until to the last point I'm from Philomena, grade 9. 